One, two, three, four. Whatever. Brian Miner Gig Log Episode 3, 97X, Dwyer and Michael's Morning Show, Interview with Zaggy Land, Battle of the Bands, Taking You With Me. Let's go. got a lot to talk about don't we before i get to the reason that you're probably here the battle of the bands drama before i get to that i did a bunch of other cool stuff this weekend that i want to share with everybody so we're going to get to that we did uh zaggy land uh, 97x morning show performed live on the radio and of course we did the battle of bands as well um i want to address the uh elephant in the room though <clears throat> a lot of you are probably thinking well Brian is always wearing that plaid coat. Does he not have any other clothes? The answer is, I don't want to wear any other clothes. I went to Farm and Fleet, my wife and I, and we found this beautiful, beautiful jacket. Do you see this? This is like a hug. You put this thing on, it's like a big warm hug. This is now my whoobie. I won't go anywhere without it. So if that answers any questions. But let's get into this. Let's uh, get to the radio. Doing radio for gigs, Brian Miner, Gig Log, episode three. Here we go. I'm down here in the studio right now, uh, working on some guitar parts. It's early in the morning, but you do what you gotta do sometimes. Um, got a message yesterday saying that there's a possibility we might be going on the radio or something, 97X, playing in the morning for the morning show. I, I don't know, something. So I need to rehearse uh, an original. I didn't know the Dirt Road Rockers had originals, but I got to learn this original. And apparently we're playing it during the uh, Battle of the Bands as well. Yeah, a Battle of the Bands. 50 years old Battle of the Bands. Also, I think I'm doing a radio interview tonight. I didn't know I was that damn important, but apparently got some guitar playing to do. Talk to you soon. Yeah, sometimes when I rehearse, I have to be pretty quiet, so... I'm working on a solo for whatever song we're playing on the morning show Friday. And it's a song that the Dirt Road Rockers had before I joined the band. And I'm just going to try to emulate the solo that's already there on the song and add a little bit of Brian Minor to it. But uh, what I've done is I've recorded myself playing on my cell phone here with the acoustic, just doing the chords in the background. And I'm going to sit here and play around with a not plugged in guitar because I got to be quiet. Uh, and I'm going to figure out kind of what I'm going to do here. So this is what it is. Close. Something like that, right? All right. <laughs> I mean, it's only 97X. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for Wes Weber, Zaggy Land Show on 107.7 Vintage Radio to give me a call so that we can talk about, I don't know what he wants to talk about. I think he wants to talk about this whole being in a band again thing. Maybe. I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm important, <laughs> famous and stuff. People want to talk to me. So I just got done doing radio with Wes Weber, Zaggy Land 107.7. I think we talked for, must have been an hour and a half. And I always feel like I'm yelling or I'm just trying to, doing radio is weird. You know, I don't know if you've ever done it, but if you do, you're, you're, you're hyper aware of how you sound until 
you forget that you're on the radio. And luckily I'm friends with Wes and I just forgot I was on the radio for a long time and just started talking shop with him. And it ended up being a pretty cool show, I thought. Anyway, he recorded it and I think that there's going to be access to it at some point. But I always feel like, what did I say? You know, what did I, did I say anything interesting at all? <laughs> anyway, that was fun. It's been a while since I've been on that side of the table. I'm used to being the one that's interviewing. So to be interviewed, that was neat. All right, so I'm on my way to the 97X radio station. No, not to do a minor disturbance radio, but to do a sound check for the Dirt Road Rockers appearance tomorrow on the Dwyer Michael Show. I think we're playing a song or something, so I have to take my stuff up there and do a sound check and get everything balanced out, ready to go, so that uh, we don't sound like crap. But that might happen anyway, because I'm playing guitar, and Keemley's not gonna be here, so it's just me. So if I blow it, I blow it. Oh, the pressure's on. So here we go. Oh, this is a little different. Wow. It's been a minute. Yeah. Wow, they added the offices. Pretty cool, man. Oh, man. How are you? Getting all right, buddy. Happy birthday, Brian. Hey, Happy thanks. Birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Woo. The big 5-0. You old son of a gun. And I got to spend it with you assholes. I don't know, right? <laughs> are you going to be able to have one beer with us afterwards? Or? Uh, no, I got I got plans after this. I, I got to get home to the kids. They're making a thing for me. And, that's, that's, oh, yeah. that's a lot. Sorry, I mean, it's you know, more important to hang out with someday you. that will happen. But right now, that, they asked me to promise that I'll come right back home. They're making me brownie that says yeah, you're old as hell or something on it. I don't know. <laughs> Am I in the right room? Yeah, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple flubs in there. <coughs> we'll work them out for us. Well, this okay. is the first time I've ever played the song with oh, you guys, so I've yeah, never. You're, dude, trust me, you're all right. More on as I was, Brian. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're going to change the first yeah. time. Reverse riff. Or the, yeah. The, whatever riff. <laughs> Okay, so the night before we did our performance on Dwyer Michaels, we had to go and do a sound check. What you're listening to right now is when we were in the control room listening to it, because apparently Dwyer Michaels wanted to hear it the next morning so that they made sure it wasn't too atrocious uh, to be on the air. So they wanted to hear what it sounded like uh, before we did our performance. So it was not a pre-recorded performance. We actually did do the song live the next morning. Uh, that's just a recording of us getting the sound check or whatever. So, about the original song, a lot of people give me crap about it because they're like, oh man, you know, whatever, play some Skinner, and they're making fun of the song. Okay. Look, um, I didn't write it. The song existed before I was in the band. It's it's a fun little song. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that style of stuff. Everybody knows that. But, hey, I don't think that Wyatt has a bad voice and I think that maybe down the road, if I stick around or if they keep me around, I wouldn't be against trying to maybe write some stuff with them. I've never tried that vein. I mean, hell, our intro song, You're So Lucky. Heck, I could turn that into a country song. <laughs> anyway, so maybe I'll do some writing in the future with them and write a couple songs. And then if you make fun of that, I want to punch you in the nose. But, you know, make fun of what you want, man. I'm just having fun playing my guitar and being part of something. So if you don't like the song, you don't like the band, kiss my ass. Finally. Yes? Yep. Uh, the boys from Dirt Road Rockers made it in. They were supposed to. Here at the Rock and Roll Mansion, apparently uh, some upcoming events. I'm going to for sure be here for the social fisting. <laughs> 
Uh, $13 at the door, $10 in advance. We social fist on B100 so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be there. I think, isn't Dirt Road Rockers playing that party? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. I can't put her name on it. <laughs> <laughs> you and me go fisting in the dark. Oh my, that's a bit. <laughs> Bobby's not impressed, man. Oh yeah. Bobby's not impressed at all. Never, He's worried about talking on the radio. We are never going to get invited back here. No, we're not. <laughs> all right, well, here's something that you guys might find interesting, maybe not. But then again, if you've made it this far, you're as sick as we are and you dig this kind of crap. So, and thank you, by the way, for being here. Anyway, when we played live in the studio, okay, what you heard through the airwaves, good or bad, sounded completely different than what was really happening in the room. Because like I've explained before, we don't have any amps. Everything's in here, right? So when we're playing, if someone were to be standing in the room, all they're going to hear is the drums and the vocals and maybe a little bit of our strings clanging, you know. So here's a little footage of us when we were performing the song live in the studio and what it sounded like in the room when Megan and Hairball were filming us performing. They were probably really confused as to what was happening. But, uh, so here you go. This is what it sounded like in the room. We got the Dirt Road Rockers. This is a song about Leonard Skinner called Play Some Skinner. So that's pretty weird, right? Just drums and vocals. Anyway, so we did the Dwyer and Michaels Morning Show, played live in the studio, did two songs. I didn't know we were gonna do two songs. I thought we were only doing one. I thought we were just gonna do that original song, play some Skeener, and then, uh, but we ended up doing uh, High On You, that Survivor song, so that was a surprise. Other than that, we got to go in the studio and talk to Dwyer and Michaels for a while. I love doing that. That's my favorite part. As a matter of fact, when they said, hey, you guys want to play another song, I was more like, hey, let's talk some more. I like being in the studio. I like talking into the mics, laughing, uh, and talking shop. That's my favorite thing to do. So I hope Dwyer and Michaels had a good time with us. I think it was pretty cool, and that was the experience for that day. So now we're going to move on to the Battle of the Bands. for this shit. What the hell's going on here? Everybody in their band has cowboy butt, man. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't know. I'm just gonna wear a coat. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause I'm gonna, where's, what the, now Wyatt's the only one that can maybe hang. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Let's see your ass. <laughs> yep, see, we ain't bringing nothing to the table out here. That, that, every single one of them guys have cowboy butt up there. We'll just have to flex a lot. We're so screwed, man. We're so screwed. A lot younger than we are, Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is not fair. We're in battle bands. This guy has to have the. I'm not like that at all. But I'm just telling you, my wife's here, and uh, how can we compete with? I mean, Jesus. I mean, turn around for a second so my mom can see that thing. Good lord, man. How are we? What you guys think? What the? Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. We're great. We already lost. No. Hey, thanks to Richie Sound and Lights, this is why 
set you play, you always gotta take the time to get all that finger cheese off your guitar. So I always like to take my strings, just wipe them all off here, grab it in between my fingers, wipe all that finger cheese off of there so it doesn't just sit and rust. So the next time I get it out, it's not all funky. Thank you, my mom. Long story short, we lost the Battle of Bands. Yes, we did. And you know what? It's probably a good thing. Because it proves uh, that uh, the Dirt Road Rockers aren't uh, s treated special. Because I know that some people feel that way. I kind of felt that way. I got to be honest. Going into this thing, I thought it was already a done deal. Um, I was like, well, it must be, you know, because Battle of the Bands, let's be honest, man. <laughs> They're usually a pre determined thing and we all really know that all us musicians know what them things are but i thought that we were the ones that were predetermined and the only way to get us onto the big grand stage or whatever at the fair was to have us win a battle of the bands i've been there done that okay so uh didn't turn out that way the band that won deserved to win not taking anything from them at all because you know everybody was deserving okay so my take on the Battle of the Bands, you know I hate them. I don't like Battle of the Bands, especially uh, a man my age, 50 years old, playing in a country cover band. And now I'm in a Battle of the Bands. I didn't like the idea at all. The whole band knows that. Um, so here's how it went down. I told them I would play the gig because if they happen to win the thing, I want to play on the stage when they play in front of 20,000 people. Because like I say, you know, when you do these things, they're gambles, right? And Wyatt decided to do this. Wyatt is a singer of the band. He decided to do this. He pulled a lever and it didn't it didn't win, right? But it could have landed on all, you know, the fruit could have lined up and we'd been on stage in front of 20,000 people. Anyway, it didn't. Took Gus to try though. Here's the problem that I ran into, okay? I had wanted to take my wife to the Roots and Boots concert. And that was uh, that Kershaw guy and uh, whoever else, you know, she don't know she's beautiful, whatever that stuff is. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of that type of country music, but my wife is. And she was so excited to go see this concert. And I happened to get tickets for this thing. And then, you know, coming into a band. All right, this is personal stuff. That's what I do on these vlogs, I guess. But uh, coming into this gig with the Dirt Road Rockers, my wife wasn't real happy about it. You know, every weekend playing in a band. But, uh, but especially if it was going to start to step all over experiences like that concert she wanted to see. So what we were running into was, so we had these tickets to go see the Roots and Boots or whatever, the Root and Tootin' Boots show. And my wife was so excited about it. Come to find out when I was at 97X doing the sound check, why it was reading the rules about the Battle of the Bands. And I had planned on playing in the battle along with Colin. I thought he was coming down too. So Wyatt was reading the rules about this battle of the bands that I already don't care about. And now the rules are all contestants, all bands that are in the thing, the members have to be there the entire time. So they can't play their set and then leave. They have to wait until the results. And if they leave, then they forfeit their band. Well, <laughs> I was going to this concert. So I played the Battle of Bands and I skated when we did our set. We, when we got done, I left because I had tickets to go see this concert with my wife. This band is not more important than my marriage and my family and that's what I was doing. So that's what I did and the outcome was what it was. I don't know if we got disqualified for that or that's the reason we lost or if we lost fair and square or whatever. I know why it was trying to get it okay that I could leave. I don't know what happened, but I don't care. Okay. Um, if I lost it for him, then I lost it for him. I apologize, but like I said, nothing's more important than my family to me. And this battle of the bands got in the way of that, and things didn't work out the right way. You know, because we were thinking about if Colin would have came down, and I'm not blaming him, but if he would have been here, then I would have just not played in it, and Colin would have, and maybe things would have turned out different. But So that whole thing might be my fault, I don't know. May or may not, but I'm not taking anything away from the band that did win. They were a good band, and uh, I wish them all the luck and have a great gig. Let's see. That was it. So that's episode three. We did it. We made it through, right? 
Okay, um, I had a lot of things to talk about in this episode, so I don't have that much time to, to answer questions, but I'd love to do that on an upcoming episode. We have some more shows coming up. I'm playing, I think, Vibrant Arena is coming up soon with the Storm game. Um, and we're going to Rascals. I think we're playing a Rascals show. Oh, man, what else is coming up? I know we got a bunch. It's about to get really busy, so we're going to be doing a lot of these. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin's coming. Uh, there's so many things coming, so stay tuned. I'll try to get one of these out every time I do a show, and we will chat. I'll be honest, talk about my experience with it, how it's affected my world, my family, my life. This is the band world. Brian Minor Gig Log, Episode 3. We'll see you soon. Hey.